Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to look at a car. Now, this is not a normal, everyday car. This is a rally car. So we're going to go to Crash Drive Hills, because that map kind of matches it. You know, this is like a rally map. We're going to take a rally car to it. Makes a lot of sense to me. So the car we're going to look at is an Audi Sport Quattro B2 Type 85Q. Now, I do not know what 85Q means. I'm assuming it has something to do with the fact that, hey, look, it looks like a rally car. Now, I tried to Google it, and I couldn't find anything about it. So if I'm wrong, feel free to tell me what it means, because that is just a guess. And um, the Audi is obviously manufacturer sports quattro, and it's the cool version with the uh, the five-cylinder engine and the all-wheel drive of the B2 coupe. That's the cool one, though. You you want the quattro, the sport quattro, because that one has, like I said, it's the cool one, man. Otherwise, you'll have like a boring four-cylinder front-wheel drive car. No, you don't want that. You want this one with the five-cylinder all-wheel drive awesome car. And uh, speaking of five-cylinder engine, it does have its own engine sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this crash real quick. And then I'll let you listen to that because we got to do a little bit of crashing real quick. But I'm going to go ahead and be quiet so you can listen very closely to the engine. And I'll try not to blow your ears out when I come back after you uh, can hear it if you need to turn your volume up or not. I'm whispering so I don't blow your ears out. Hopefully you can turn your volume down if you need it to. Because I'm going to start talking normal and I'm talking normal. Hopefully I didn't blow your ears out. If I did, I'm sorry. I tried not to, but it just happens. So anyways, like I said, that has its own custom sound. It does not modify any of the other cars, just it. And uh, I believe it sounds pretty close to what it should sound like. You know, this is supposed to be, I believe, a 2.2 liter, um, 5 cylinder turbocharged engine. And I've never heard one in real life, unfortunately. That's uh, not quite common where I am, but... It sounds very similar to the engines I've found on the internet and stuff, so I'm, I like that. And you noticed I did crash right into the tree, and it's like, why, BR, you have a rally car, how do you do that? Well, not quite, because I don't have the right wheels on this thing. You could actually change the wheels to uh, uh, suit your environment, and you notice these ones say tarmac wheels are the ones it has on right now. We want the gravel wheels. That'll make us handle a bit better, and I do feel the difference, I think. Or it's all just a placebo effect, and it's just all in my head. But to me, I think the gravel, the, the gravel ones do handle a bit better for this situation or like I said just placebo I don't know but uh, the car itself feels good you know it has its own kind of handling feel the engine is definitely one of its own like feel as well and this is uh, um, gearbox is also kind of funny if you uh, start like this and you just from a stop you try to accelerate it's like oh come on look I'm like hold the gas all the way it's like oh we're bogging the engine down installing it out totally but uh, you can't install a car out here but it's just like that has a totally different gearbox so when you take off with this car you will know what you want to do put it in neutral rev it up to 7500 rpms then drop the clutch yes like I say it's not drop the clutch I just shifted I just did a hard shift I didn't drop the clutch but whatever it's all uh, part of the way the game is you know it's like the game it's easier to just go into neutral and then shift in the other one versus drop the clutch or whatever so yeah, um, I just wanted to point that out because it was funny, but the suspension itself is like, it feels different, you know, everything about it kind of feels like its own car. Like, you look how high it rides, you know, that's like rally car right there, like, look at that, like, a few inches of, well, quite a few inches, I should say, of ground clearance on it. And uh, the lights and all that do work, all the parts are interchangeable, as you saw, I already changed the tires, but any other part you could change as well. But you see the lights work, it's got all the, like, the little bits that I like to see in a car, all the little details, they work, man. You know, it's got reverse lights. If you want to put it in reverse, I think. Oh, no, it doesn't. I was mistaken. Then again, it is a rally car. I don't know if those would even have those in real life. Interior camera is a little sketchy because of this map, I believe. It, we'll come back to that later because that, I'm pretty sure, is the map. How does the map do that? I don't know. Same with this. So we'll have to look at the camera angles later. Uh, I forgot the map does this, and it's just because I have an old version of the map. Oopsies. Sorry about that. Uh, don't try to change the color. That's a bad idea. It just makes the windows look crazy. It's just me. Just trust me, okay? But as you see, just going through here, we're not going fast because I'm talking and thinking about everything I've said. And like, what else is I should I say? I think I said everything, actually. Um, but yeah. Oh, one more thing. The skeleton is not 100% its own, it, but it's like it's modified to, no, to enough extent where it's like it works good. You don't notice the fact that it doesn't actually have its own uh, J-beam skeleton to it. Because in 90% of the crashes, or 99% of the crashes even... 
it works good. Like, I don't notice anything wrong with it. So even if it doesn't have its own fully made J-beam, it, it, the one it, made, it modified off of worked out. It feels good. Like, when it crashes, it doesn't look like there's anything crazy except very rarely. Very, very rarely, I should say. It was like one crash. I'm like, oh, that was kind of unusual. But it wasn't like it was even that crazy. It was just like, it was a little weird. So it's good. Every, all around, it seems like it's pretty good. And the interior parts, everything I could think of that you'd want to work works. I just, like I said, we'll have to come back to that because this map messes that up. We're just kind of going through here at a snail's pace because I'm afraid I'll crash because YBR sucks at driving. See, see, I, I am crashing. Did my tire fall off? Oh, weird. What was that? I saw something fall off. Was it a mud flap? I think it was my left mud flap, my left front mud flap. How funny. Bye bye, mud flap. Why does a rally car even need a mud flap, really? Uh, to me, that seems like one of those things where it's like, ah, screw it. Let's cut the weight. Who needs a mud flap? But I guess, apparently, at least back then, they believed that they had enough of a use where it's like it's worth the pound or two they add on total. I mean, all four of them is like probably a pound, you know? Like, how much weight does it add, dude? Not that much. But anyways, you see, you know, it's, I just wanted to take it here because it kind of, you know, matches up with the environment. But we're not doing much crashing. How can you do that? How can you play BMG Drive and not have that much crashing? So we're going to drive it hard and crash all over the place intentionally now. Or we're just going to spin out and gracefully stop. That's not what I want to do. Let's get to the top of the hill. That way we can go faster because we have momentum on our side and gravity. And it's going to be happy now. Or sad. It's sad if you're a real car. It's happy if you just want to see it crash. There we go, there's a crash. There's another crash. I mean, it was one big crash, but still. Ooh, that back, that back tire is ruined. And the car itself is ruined. We are not going to get this thing to move, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll just reset it right here and continue down the hill. Oh, why did this parts menu come up? Shoo. Like I said, you can change the parts. That'd be, I kind of already showed that when I changed the tires. Let's go ahead and continue, continue. Continue. Man, I suck at crashing. <laughs> that's, that's something I've never said before. Usually it's like I can crash all over the place. With this one, it seems like I kind of just spin out and coast. So maybe we should go somewhere else just to crash it. We'll go ahead and do that after uh, I get something here. Come on, here, right there. Yeah, there we go. That's better. There you go. You know, like I said, it crashes decently enough looking, you know? I don't see no problems with that. Looks good. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and go to somewhere we could crash it now that we've driven it where it belongs. All right, so let's just uh, pop over to um, let's just pop over to grid map. Nice, simple grid map. I mean, who doesn't love grid map? Most people, probably. I don't know. I like grid map. Why don't you like grid map? Grid, map's, grid map's nice. Ooh, with it having its suspension so high up, it might be kind of neat to try to do it on the this suspension test. Usually, I don't do that because most of them the, are the same. But this one sits so high, I was wondering. You could probably take this actually at like 50 miles per hour, and you'd be okay. That's the interesting thing. You could, you could like speed through that. And it has enough ground clearance where it's like, I'm a rally car. I don't care. At least that's what I'm guessing will happen. Or it might still tear itself apart. So let's try 45 miles per hour or so. We're just going to hold the accelerator. And whatever speed we hit it, we hit it at. Look at it go. Oh, jeez. That is a bunch of tire movement. But I don't think any other car could really make it aside from a truck. But this is a car. So, you know, it has... It, I mean, you know what I mean. Like a truck, yeah, it could make it because it has even more ground clearance. But this is a car. The fact that it can make it is really impressive. Let's go and speed things up just a bit. We are falling off of this anyway, so it's like, oh well, there goes the test. But you know, it seemed like it made it. I don't know how damaged the suspension is. Uh, maybe it is a little bit because I think th I don't think the car quite drives in a straight line anymore. Now it just goes left all on its own. How convenient is that? Uh, not convenient. It's actually very inconvenient because that's not good. That's okay. What are you gonna do about it? Hey, here's some crashing. There we go. Again, you see, it looks pretty good. I don't see anything like that looks makes me look like, oh, that looks weird. So I'm like, hey, that looks happy. Oh my goodness, this car is driving really crooked. Look at the tire. Look at the, the tire. That tire is stuck at that angle. The tire's angle is so bad. It's gonna like, that's what happens when you accelerate. It doesn't even drive. Like, it drives sideways. It doesn't just drive crooked. It drives, si like, it, you know, where it kind of goes to one side, it drives sideways. That is crazy. That is kind of funny. I don't think uh, a real car could really ever crash. I, well, maybe they could crash like that now that I think about it. That is probably possible, but it's funny. Yeah, and boom. Now it should be dead. Yep, 
cart is dead, just like you would expect. You see all the lights are sad. Do they still work after you bust them up? Let's see. Nope. You bust the lights up, you're screwed. It's dark now. <laughs> Don't bust the lights up. And uh, let's go and look at the interior now that we can. So it does have fully functional interior. Steering wheel spins. Gauges move. You see there is the tachometer right in the middle, I believe. Uh, we can just put it to manual, actually. And then you can just see... Yep, that's the tachometer. And I don't know uh, what the other gauges are off the top of my head. I'm trying to look at them, but it's kind of dark. But you can always make it brighter by hitting my favorite button. We can do it in the air just to make it more fun. So we're going to just say... Oh man, I was trying to change the camera so you could see it, and then I end up crashing. Whoopsie! I was just gonna hit break all break groups once I got in the air, but I just couldn't see. That's a bad idea, huh? Break all break groups! Dang! That car has a lot of little bits that fall off. Like it has the mud flaps and all that. That looks cool when they break all break groups. That thing really explodes with pieces. So look at that, you can actually see in the modeled up uh, trunk right there as well. And a modeled up engine bay. Yeah, not the most detailed of engine bay. It's kind of flat, but, you know, it's not like it looks ugly. It's just a little flat. All right, so let's see. We can kind of, you know what? I can just, uh, and then, uh, uh, nope, that doesn't work. Uh, 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 uh. You can go like this. There is the speedometer right there, right there in the corner. That's speedometer, I bet. Looks like it's in kilometers per hour. And uh, there's a bunch of other gauges, too. I don't know if they function. I didn't check those ones. Um... Pedals work. You can see the pedals. See the pedal right there, right where my mouse is? Right above my mouse, actually. See it moving? Pedals work. Interior, you got actually racing seats. And I like this. It says Recaro, but really blurrily, but it says Recaro, and then on the outside, Recaro. It matches. It's actually a point to the sticker. It's not like a racer who just slaps every sticker they find on their car. They put a Recaro sticker on it because it uses Recaro parts. We lost the mud flap. We lost the mud flap. Our, our right rear mud flap is gone. Come on, flip, flip. Good. See the trunks all opening up. I don't know what exactly is vibrating back there. Bang. And now I'll never know because I blew it off. Looks like it's just part of the wing, I guess. Yep, part of the wing. It's a nice looking car though. I mean, I like it. You know, it seems like it works pretty nicely. Might be a little less durable than I would want it some, uh, sometimes, but for the most part it works good like that. Killed it. But that kind of was a little rough, to be honest, so. But I've just had ones where it's like a little crash and it's like, oh, it's dead. Uh, but for the most part, it seems pretty good, man. Uh, I don't know what else to do with it. I'm like, I'm trying to think, what do I usually do? It's been a while since I've done a car video. Oh, we broke it. I broke it. Whoa, everything's getting blood red. Car is dead. No, that's just the lights changing there. They do that. Wait a minute. We st Maybe we weren't missing the mud flap. No, we, we are missing the mud flap. I, I, I don't know. It's just that mud flap's crazy sometimes. How's that? That's dead. That is definitely dead. So there's the mud flap. When does the mud flap fall off? Is it when I hit the ramp, or is it like when, okay. I was wondering if it fell off when I was accelerating, because it would be weird. And boom. Oh, no, it's still there this time. You know, this car can get, this gearing seems a bit long for like a rally car. Like, in, uh, like a lot of other rally cars, they wouldn't be geared like this. This one seems to be geared a bit long. That is one thing I'll say. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. That car is dead. Yeah, that car's dead. Uh, that's the one thing I will say though, like I said, just, you know, with a rally car, usually you're like 5th gear and then you're topping out at 120. This one seems like it's uh, happy at 3rd gear at 120 or so, you know? It's so, like we're in 3rd gear and we're going 80, 90, 100-ish. So it's just a little, the gearing might be a little off, is what I'm saying, but it's like, so what? Everything else is good, and that's actually something that's qu quite easy to change if you wanted to. And the car's, the most important part... The crashes look good. You know, they look good. They look good. Like I said, every now and then there might be one that doesn't look good, but 99% of them, they look good. 
So um, let's go ahead and try to do that loop-de-loop, -loop, and then we'll go to uh, the, the car killers. The places where the cars just get absolutely destroyed. Come on, loop-de-loop. -loop. No, we're not loop-de-looping. Let's just actually do this too. Break all break groups. We got all those little pieces. Oh, wait, we can't see them. Let's move a little bit as we do that. All right, so look at all the little pieces fall off of this thing. I love this. Where'd my mouse go? There it is. Look, look at all those little pieces. Like there's a little piece, all the lights. That each per part of the light, I guess. No, I don't know what those pieces come from, but I just like seeing little pieces fly off. I have no idea where they come from, but I like watching them. Uh, it's more dramatic when you're in the air, though, it seems like. Okay, well, like, boom. And you got all the pieces, man. I love doing that. Look at the wheels, it's like, we're out of here. So much noise, like, bang, bang, bang. Oh, that, what I saw, was the, um, mirrors. See, the mirrors and the mud flaps and the wing breaking into like two different pieces, all those little things make it look cool when you do that. There you go. Ah, look at the door. Oh, it tried to get back on it. You saw? I don't know if you saw that. Look at the tire. There's a tire just flying over there, it looked like. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to Brutal Slope and Leap of Death. Okay, so I think we'll go to, um... Let's go to Brutal Slope first. Do one or two here, and then we'll go to Leap of Death, and then we'll go, wee crash, bang, boom, boom, crash, crash, crash. Uh, did I hit go? No. I somehow missed clicking go. Good job, idiot. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, this is taking a while to load. Did I hit the button? No, I didn't hit the button. I'm a dummy. So let's go ahead and choose the car out, the sports quattro. Let me show you what happens if you change the color of the glass, too. I forgot to do that. It makes everything look funny. I, I kind of spoiled it. I say if you change the color of the glass. Because that's what it does. It changes the color of the glass. So it just looks funny like that. It's like, it's pointless to try to change the color. But you could try it if you wanted to, really. Alright, this thing... Now we can see it's gearing. Look at that. See, 140 and... Like, it's geared to go up to like 180. I don't think rally cars really ever go that fast. That's the ludicrous speeds for like inches away from trees that can murder you. I was getting a nice good old 210 miles per hour or so. Let's go and watch this thing. Totally obliterated. It's just, it's totally obliterated. But hey, it obliterated good. That's all that matters. Like, it's just a ball of metal. It's like, I'm a ball of metal now. I'm sorry. Poor Quattro. You never deserve this. Look at the tires just going everywhere they want. Like, boing, 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 boing. Just whatever they want to do, they do. Like, we're finally free! We're free, we're free! Now we can bounce around and cause havoc everywhere and be annoying and all kinds of things. Alright, let's make it a convertible. I wonder if anybody's ever done that. You know, it's one of those things where it seems like almost any car you can find somebody who is crazy enough to take a saw to it and make it a convertible, you know? I wonder if there's uh, ever been a sports quattro in specific that's convertible. Just, you know. I'm sure there'd probably be a B2 convertible. B2 coupe convertible, I mean. But a sports quattro convertible, that's... Dude, as far as I know, these never came as convertibles. Whoop! That high ground clearance wasn't helping there. Or maybe it did. I don't know. It does not function anymore, unfortunately. Look at the tire, the one that was was in the trunk. Wait. No, it doesn't function. I thought it would for a second. That tire in the trunk just fell out, though. So now it's a convertible. Ta-da! Steering wheel still churned. Audi. Or I6... Oh, that's not a no. I, it's just I... That's not a 6. It's like a... You can't read that upside down. No, you can't. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm all trying to read it upside down. I'm like, no, this doesn't even make sense. Oh, look at that. Let's do it. You know what? We never do. Oh, goodness. It messed with the interior colors when I did that. Ah, oh, I ruined the interior. Why did I do that? Oh, man. I ruined the interior. Let's make it crazier then. 
we'll just go all out with the interior and make it, um, this should make it really shiny, I think. Yeah, there we go. Actually, it looks normal now. That's okay with me. I mean, it doesn't look stock, but it looks normal. It's like I can see a car looking like this, you know? Just for curiosity, it's like, let's do a collision at full speed in the driver's seat. Like, it's super realistic, you know? This pedometer sucks. I gotta tilt my head to see it. I don't know how fast I'm going because my pedometer is blocked by my steering wheel, officer. I didn't know I was going 210 miles per hour down Brutal Slope. I thought I was only going 60. Like, that's just instantaneous death. You crash so fast, just boom, dead. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to Brutal Slope. I mean, um, it's not Brutal Slope, Leap of Death now. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to Leap of Death, and uh, da, 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 there it is. You can tell because there's a car that's just getting obliterated. Yeah, but, uh, yep, 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 that right there. That's Leap of Death, and that is where we want to go. Did I, hit, did I miss hitting go again? No, I hit it this time. It's just taking a second to load. I'm like, all like, I'm worried about myself. Like, did I miss clicking it again? Oh my god, am I an idiot? Did I do it again? Oh no. But I didn't this time. I clicked it. I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. Okay, I'm an idiot. But I wasn't in that situation. Oh, maybe it was normal colors. Oh, whatever. I don't know what I was talking about before with the colors. All I know is it changed it red. Go, Audi, go! Ooh, that's a straight-on collision right there. Goodbye, lights. Goodbye, cars, engine. Goodbye, driver. Goodbye, trunk, even. That's like a one-hit kill. That is like a one-hit kill right there. Like, it is just obliterated just from that. You know, for me, it's like it's boring just watching this. Now it's just watching a piece of metal fall down. It's like you don't see anything. But it seems like a lot of people like watching it just feel like, oh, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, to me, it's like it's boring. It's not, it's not deforming anymore. It's just a ball of metal rolling down a hill, you know? But, uh, you know, since a lot of people seem to like watching it, I'll go in and leave it in. And we're gonna hit the. Ooh, this is gonna be a hard hit. But like I said, it's like who cares? <laughs> That's mean to the people who do care. I know. I'm sorry, but to me, it's just like it's boring to watch this. Yeah, it looks the same as it did before, except a couple tires keep falling off every now and then. Look at the tire. That tire is like I'm going, man. I'm going. That car kept going. Let's go and do that again. Hopefully, this time we land in a different angle, so we could crash different. Shouldn't be too hard. Because, in fact, it's hard to land at the same angle every time. Oh, my goodness. That was beautiful. I actually used that ramp like it's like how I would always want to use it, but I never can. And we even managed to get all the way down here on the first jump. That's actually not that easy. And, oh, the driver are not crushed yet. They're probably dead just from the sudden deceleration. Like, their organs have fallen out their, their bodies, you know, now. It's just they're sitting in a puddle of their organs, and it's gross, and... Why am I talking about that? That is gross. Now that I think about that, that is really gross. You know, all your organs fall out because you experience too many G's when your car sat down or whatever. It's gross. It's gross. It's gross. See, this time the driver's compartment's actually holding up. See, that's a that's pretty good that it held up. Like, that. Like, it's a lot of mostly that was a lucky landing every time, but that's pretty amazing. Oh, game, okay, why you do that? Alright, let's go and get up here. Alright, here we go. Let's, uh... Whoops, wrong button. Oh, double wrong button. I went wrong button, wrong button. That's terrible. Because, uh... Yeah, I don't know, why not? We'll do sun. Oh, nope, can't drive in the sun. Oh, look at that fitment, though. <laughs> uh, actually looks really... That car actually pulls it off having being really low and really high. It's one of those things I never thought about. This car looks good even if you're sitting way high in it or if you're sitting way low in it. It looks good either way. I think a more fair comparison would be like Earth versus uh, Jupiter, maybe. Yeah, like even low, that car still looks good. Except for the fact that the trunk fell off because I was doing crazy things. Sun gravity engaged. It's just going to be obliterated. Like, that was an eight times slower. Like, you can't even see what happened. Just obliteration. Sun gravity on brutal slope is not nice to the car at all. I can't even tell what's happening. Pretty much any car will do crazy glitches like that, though. I don't blame the 
the author of the car for that. I blame more along the lines of people wanting such crazy things. It's like, how can you simulate something that's so crazy, man? So we'll do one more jump, and um, I think we're going to end it there. Eight times slower. Ooh, that's death. Right there, instant squishing death. Where there's metal impaling you in every which direction. I don't know if it's going to make it down the cliff now, actually. It's slowly going to make it. There it goes. It's okay. We'll watch it go all the way down, and then, um... Uh, yeah, until next time, man. This has been YBR. And, um... Uh, well... No, I did everything I wanted to do. I was thinking, wait, it feels like I forgot to do something. Can't remember. I can't think of anything though. Oh well. I'm trying to think. I'm going. Hmm. What did I forget to do? What is it? I don't know. It's just it's just one of those random feelings in me. Like I feel like I didn't do something, but I think I did. So I'm just crazy. That's all. That's, uh, obviously. Anyways. Yeah, I can't think of anything. Till next time. This has been YBR. Somebody's gonna say it in the comments. I'm like, yep, that was it. Uh, I'll see it.